Oh, but Monsieur, you are too kind. I'm too thirsty. <laughs> what can you do to slake my thirst? Ooh, all kinds of fun things. I ordered a new kit of games. Mm. Oh. <laughs> games. <laughs> are you okay, Big <sighs> Julian? Huh? You look a little out of it. Perhaps a brandy might help. Oh, well, I already told room service to bring us up a bottle. Good. I need it. <laughs> My father is disinheriting me. How come? Oh, well, you may ask, as I've asked myself the same thing a thousand times since that horrid night on that prom boat. One thing I know for sure, though, Ivy's to blame. She got me on that boat that led directly to father turning against me. She is something, that wife of yours. Yes, but she's going to pay. I'll have my revenge. But how? How do I uncover Ivy's secrets? Remember how we used to leave notes for each other underneath that loose rock? No, I don't. Don't be afraid, Sam. You know what we had? It was, it was good and it was true and it was beautiful. Obviously, the chief of police is leaving somebody a message. But who, Ivy? Who could it be? I have no idea, Rebecca. Really, we should be going. Uh, no, not on your life. Not until we see who shows up to retrieve the note. Sam Bennett's paramour. And here, after all these years, I thought that he was true to his wife. Who's there? Finally, the truth is going to come out. Ethan, what are you doing here? And why were you coming from around the side of the house? Teresa, what's going on? I was sound asleep and I heard voices. Wonderful night of my life. Come away from there. Ethan came to my room. He came to your room? Yes, and, and then Gwen showed up and he didn't want her to see him, so he left, but she just ran into him outside. So that's it. What's it? Well, she's going to blow up. She's going to totally lose a call at the wedding, and then Ethan will be mine. <laughs> Chad is going to be okay, isn't he, Dr. Russell? Well, the incision he got after the construction accident opened. How? Probably when he was saving Whitney's life after the prom boat sank. Anyway, he's feverish and he's in pain. But since he refuses to go back to the hospital... He can't afford it, Mom. Yeah, he has no insurance. I know. Anyway, what's done is done. He's here until he's fit enough to go home. Sweetheart, will you do me a favor and take off his shoes? Yeah. Wait, are you saying that Chad's going to stay in Whitney's room? Of course. Where else is he going to stay? We can't move him. I'm going to get my medical bag. Set this whole thing up, didn't you? What? Because you have feelings for him. You want Chad to stay in your room so you can sleep with him. Yes, yeah, Spinelli, I, I know we're short-staffed today, but I, I just need uh, a couple of patrolmen. Well, it's just a squad car, anything. Look, I I'm over at Sheridan Crane's cottage. I left Hank Bennett here to guard her, and, and they're gone. Look, I, I need them tracked down. I think that Sheridan could be in danger. But you said that I didn't have to... I said you didn't have to pull the trigger. Somebody else does. And you're going to help make it happen. You want me to set her up for you? Very astute. You get her where I tell you to get her, and I'll be waiting for her. Hank, what's the matter? You look... I don't know. Nervous. I do. Don't be. The drug cartel's not after me anymore. It's just in the suspicious mind of Officer Lopez Fitzgerald. He thinks there's a bad guy hiding behind every tree.
park around the side of the house? Park? Mm-hmm. Oh, my car. Yeah, Ethan, is that why you were coming from that direction? Did you come here to pick me up? Why else? I love you, Ethan Crane. Oh, I just love that you want to be with me so much. Uh, wait a minute. I didn't tell you I was coming here to see Teresa. How did you even know I was here? It's happening. It's, it's all about to come out. Come away from her, Teresa. They'll see you. Mama, when we realize that, that Ethan couldn't have known she was here. She'll know that he came to see me. She'll know that he loves me. And Ethan will finally have to admit it to himself. It's all going to work out. Ethan is a wonderful young man, and I'm not going to let you hurt him, and I'm not going to let you break up his wedding to Gwen. Mama, don't try to stop this. It's time for the truth to come out. Ivy, is that you? Oh, hi, Sam. This is a coincidence. Yes, I was just um, out for a walk. I wasn't expecting to run into you here, but since I did, um, I was just going to... Chief Bennett. Shooting? Where? All right, I'm on my way. I gotta go. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. What? The note. I'm trying to find out who it's for. Who is Sam's mistress? Go ahead, Whitney, deny it, but don't expect us to buy it. I would never just hop into bed with someone, Kay. We're not talking about someone, we're talking about Chad. Okay, you probably don't know this, but sex without love is meaningless. To sleep with a guy who doesn't respect you or want to make a commitment is just plain dumb. I repeat, we're not talking about a guy. And as far as Chad's concerned, I'm grateful to him for saving my life, that's all. We're all grateful, Whitney, but why can't he stay in my room? Maybe he will. Later. But for now, I mean, you heard Mom. It's best not to move him. That's right, he needs to remain immobile. Mom, is there anything I can do that would help? Oh, no, sweetie. But if there is, I'll let you know. I think everything's pretty much under control now. I mean, your dad went to get antibiotics and bandages from the hospital. And in the meantime, I am going to clean Chad's wound. Hello. The wharf? Another shooting? Shooting at the wharf. I'll be there in five minutes. Sheridan. I called 911. An ambulance. Oh. He's alive. You're okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go outside and wait. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Sam. Right here. Oh, go away. What? Get out of here. You're in trouble. Damn, dumb loser. This time I won't miss Sharon. Okay. Everyone's in this way. It's okay. Jared. Hank, don't try and talk. You're in danger. Go. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not leaving you. But the shooter's still out. No, just hang on. An ambulance will be on its way soon. Damn. You okay? It's Hank. Hank, you ahead? Please don't worry about me. Get Sharon out of here. The hitman's still around here somewhere. Sharon, get down. Hank! The ambulance is on its way. The shooter's still out here, sir. Get down, get down. Listen. Cordon off a five block area and start a street by street. You got it? Yeah, right away. Get away. Come on, let's go. How bad is it, Hank? <laughs> I can't shoot. No. Take it easy. Take it easy. Oh, there's not much else I can do, Sam. Any idea who the shooter was? No. Oh, it was meant for me. Hank, you have to know Hank saved my life. It's all my fault. Yeah, you're damn right it is.
Whitney, I want you to clean his wound. And if you have any trouble, you need anything, call me on my cell phone. Okay, Mom. I know what to do. I bet she does. Whitney can't wait to get Chad's pants off. You can't let it happen, Simone. You can't let your sister be alone with Chad. Mom, I know I didn't take all those emergency medical courses, but I know how to wash out a wound. I know you do, Simone, but I want Whitney to do it. She's had more experience. But I, I'm Chad's friend. I think I should Simone, be helping you. I don't you. have time to argue with you now. I want you and Kay to stay out of Whitney's room. But I, I just think no, that... No, please. Let's go. Go to your room. Come on, let's go. <laughs> could not have known that I was coming here to, to discuss hairstyles with Teresa. Uh, well... Well, what, Ethan? What are you doing here? I want an answer, Ethan. Look, my mother thinks I'm naive not to suspect that someone like Teresa would just love to steal you away from me. Steal me? Yeah, but I know that's not true because I trust Teresa. But Ethan, running into you here like this, this makes me really uneasy. The truth is, Ethan, it frightens me. You're not hiding anything from me, are you? Gwen? Uh, I'm sorry, I couldn't help overhearing. But I'm afraid you've misunderstood, Gwen. I told Ethan that you were here. How did you know that Gwen was here, Mama? Uh, well, Ethan called me about something that needed to be done tomorrow, and um, I told them that I could hear your voice coming from Teresa's room. <laughs> of course, that's how you knew. Darling, I'm, I'm so sorry. I mean, you know, it's just, it's, it's my mother. She's driving me crazy. She's got the pre-wedding jitters worse than I do. I'm sorry. Teresa, don't forget about your appointment with the hairstylist, okay? I won't. You're going to be the perfect maid of honor at the perfect wedding. Good night. How you want? Mama, why are you trying to destroy my future? No. I'm trying to protect you. I have told you many times before that the cranes will never let you marry Ethan. Not even the cranes can stop love. Oh, yes, they can. They've done it before, and they'll do it to you. Wait, Rebecca, this is a, an invasion of privacy. Well, that makes it all the more delicious. No, 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 it, it's not right. Right? Who said anything about right? This is fun. Don't tell me you've lost your sense of adventure. When we were young, you were always the wild one. Lately, you seem so careful. If I didn't know better, I'd say that you had something to hide. Don't be ridiculous, Rebecca. It's just, it's, it's late, and I have a million things to do before Ethan and Gwen's wedding. Well, this won't take but a minute. I am dying to know the name of Sam's secret love. I can't believe your father is turning against you. Not is, has. It's a fait accompli. Well, I remember hearing you talk to him on the phone, and you were always making nice. Yeah, apparently, not nice enough. He's really serious about disinheriting you. Wow. Well put. <sighs> it's a definite wow. I'll be tossed aside like so much rubbish and Ethan put in my place. <laughs> well, you, you really can't talk to him? Not right now. I'll just have to ride it out. In the meantime, there's sweet Ivy. She's going to pay for setting this into motion. She's been up to something for months now. What it is, I just haven't been able to put my finger on it. Not yet. 
but I will. Have you looked through her papers? What papers? The ones she keeps locked up in her attache case. Do tell. They're stashed away in her room. A locked attaché case. What makes you think there's something incriminating inside? When I was Ivy's maid, I walked in on the ones and I saw her putting these real important looking documents in her case. And when she found out that I'd gotten a look, she was so mad. I thought she was going to fire me. What did she say? She just locked the case up and told me to forget that I'd ever seen it. Thanks for the tip, Suzanne. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, Where are you going? To find those papers. They may be just what I need to nail my wife to the wall. running around so much lately I should be completely exhausted but I I'm not I'm I'm so awake and so alive oh, it's all because of you Mr. Cream well, you are wide awake <laughs> wouldn't take much to talk me into bed though no didn't you hear what I said what Wait, what you are still thinking about the dire warnings of calamity that my mother's putting in your head, aren't you? Well, don't, because I'm not. It's all forgotten. Ethan, I don't want anything to spoil this wonderful time before the wedding. I love you, Gwen. <laughs> I want to marry you. I've already accepted your proposal, Ethan. I know. It's just... I was thinking about how wonderful our lives are going to be together. Ethan, do you realize how many times you've said those words lately? You, you keep saying it over and over again like a mantra. Like you're trying to convince yourself. I mean, no, nope, there I go again. I, I don't know why I keep looking for trouble when I know very well that there isn't any. Why do I do that? <laughs> <laughs> well... Oh, there they are, the lovebirds. Mm. Uh, have you seen Ivy? Yes, uh, earlier she was taking a walk in the park. Good. I, I, it's good that she's out for some air. You know, Ethan and I still have some planning to do. Mm. Uh, there was something I think he was going to try and talk me into. Mm. Good night. Ooh, have fun. <laughs> good night, Father. <laughs> Is it? Where would you stash the attaché case? At least this is safe. Mom, I'm going out. You're going out, but it's so late, Teresa. I can't sleep, and I'm going over to Whitney's. What are you doing with Mrs. Crane's case? I wanted to make sure that you put it back in the closet like I asked you to. Mama, I am sorry. I, I didn't mean for it to, to fall out and open up. It, it was an accident. You're, you, you're so nervous about those papers. Why? Teresa, I've already told you it, it's none of your concern. I don't believe they're for a memory book like Gwen said. Why would Mrs. Crane ask you to keep important papers about Ethan? You are to forget these papers even exist. I wish they didn't exist. And I wish Ethan weren't a crane. Well, he is. But if he wasn't, he wouldn't have to marry Gwen. And I could be his wife. If only Ethan weren't a crane. Stay away. There can never be anything between us. I'm not going to hurt the people I love. Well falls short of she walks in beauty like the night but the message here is is unmistakable oh. some woman is clearly after a handsome police chief and sam is telling her to back off there's no name 
That's the bad news. The good news is that if Sam is already packing this nameless woman in, it leaves the field wide open. You could give it a shot, Ivy. Me. You play your cards right, and he could be all yours. <laughs> what are you talking about, Rebecca? Well, I saw a certain look in his eyes when he was talking to you. <laughs> well, I'm I'm afraid you might need glasses, Rebecca. <laughs> no, there was no look in Sam Bennett's eyes. And, and even if there were, it would do no good. <laughs> yes, you're Mrs. Julian Crane. And having a fling with Sam Bennett would be scandalous. Julian would divorce you and leave you with nothing. You'd never risk that. Good little brother. You risk your own life to save Sheridan's. Yeah, believe me, I'm no hero. I call him like I see him, kiddo. How could you do it? How could you get Hank to take you outside? I'm sorry. You knew that he was nervous about guarding you. You're just too damn stubborn to admit that you're in danger. Just like all the other cranes. Other people's lives mean nothing to you. Zero. holding his hand and stroking his face like she's in love with him. What? No, let me see. She swore she didn't have any feelings for him. I hate to break it to you, but your sister is one big liar. She plotted this whole thing, made sure she'd be alone with Chad and his naked body. Go in there, Simone. Tell her what you think of her. No, Mom said Whitney should take care of him. Oh, she's taking care of him all right. Go ahead, Simone. Would you two please leave? Didn't you hear me? Well, I was wondering maybe if, if you'd like some ice. Thank you, but I'm using antiseptic to cool him. Looks to me like you're trying to get him hot. Well, it probably would to you, Kay. Admit it, Whitney. You're crazy about Chad. I need a miracle. Please make Ethan free to marry me and not Gwen. He loves me. And if we can't be together, we'll both be miserable for the rest of our lives. And I know right now, deep down, Ethan is thinking of me the same way I am thinking of him. Dream of me. I will. I love you. You may kiss the bride, kiss the woman you love. Whatever Sheridan wants, Sheridan gets. No matter who gets hurt, no matter how many people are put in danger. Yell at me, I you deserve know, it. You think that being a crane automatically offers you some kind of immunity. But Hank and I aren't cranes. No, we put our lives on the line for you, Sheridan. I know. Do you think it's just some kind of a game? I will never forgive myself for Hank getting shot. Thank God. 
What? What happened, Sam? He's all right. It's only a flesh wound. The bullet grazed his back. It's a minor wound. It's a good thing you carry around that kryptonite in your pocket there. Yeah, well, what can I say? Bullets bounce right off me. Pink, I am so sorry. Hey, it's not your fault, okay? Lisa, I hope you're not blaming her for this, all right? Because I'm the one that brought her here. Yeah, well, the important thing right now is just to find out who did this. Uh, good luck. I would figure the Bozes out oh, long gone by now. Chief Bennett, we've got a lead on the shooter. Someone spotted the shooter? Yeah, a night watchman. Right after the shot was fired, he saw a man leaving the wharf and heading towards the warehouse in the water. All right, now get on the horn to headquarters, all right? I want to have every available officer down here and start that street by street, like I said, all right? The night watchman's here, what the guy looked like? Yeah, uh, blonde hair, tall. Does that description sound about right, Hank? Uh, well, it's, uh, like I said, I, 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 I never got a good look at the guy. I... I'm going after him. Look, if you spot him, you call for backup, all right? All right, Marty will do that. I mean it, Luis. You don't take him down unless you call for backup. You got it? Luis, be careful. But no matter what Hank says, it was my fault that he got shot. I couldn't bear it if you got hurt, too. All right, Sam, just make sure you put a guard on Sheridan. Remember, she's the one they're after. Don't worry. Well, you couldn't be more wrong, Kay, because I'm not in the least bit crazy about Chad. Give me a break, Whitney. I saw it with my own two eyes. You were dying to crawl in bed with him. You know, you have a mean streak a mile long, Kay. Where exactly did it come from? Can't really be genetic because your parents are wonderful people. I mean, when you're the one stabbing your sister in the back? Just because you're twisted doesn't mean everyone else is. Now get out before I throw you out. And stay out. You too, Simone. Hey, what's going on? Where's your sister in the room? With her boyfriend. Her boyfriend? Go in and see. Everything's fine, Chad. You're gonna be all right. I said to stay out. You move fast, Wit. Teresa, Chad's wound reopened and he collapsed. My mom said he's going to be okay. He just, he just needs his rest. This could be it. Your golden opportunity. My what? In romance novels, when the hero gets hurt, the heroine nurses him back to health. And they fall in love. Teresa, my life is not a romance novel, okay? I'm just looking after him till my mom gets back. And right now I could um, use some more gauze, so keep an eye on him till I get back, will you please? Yes. Okay. You actually managed to tear yourself away from your boyfriend? You've got a lot of explaining to do, Whitney. No, Simone, I don't. Look, this is just Kay's ugly imagination. But you and I will talk when Chad gets better, okay? It's very... Grace. Chad, Whitney had to get something... But she'll be back in just a minute. Mm. How's, how's it going with Ethan? I am not giving up, if that's what you mean. So, so fight for what you want. How about you and Whit? How is that going? Mm. Oh, that's not good enough, Chad. If you love a girl, you should tell her how you feel. Suzanne is right. An attaché case is here someplace. I told father I'd find proof that Ivy was up to something. Where is that bloody case? 
And just what do you think you're doing here, Julian? Isn't it rather obvious? Get out. Not until I find what I am looking for. <laughs> there is nothing in this room that even remotely concerns you. I beg to differ with you, darling. There is an attaché case that contains certain documents. And it's here someplace. Where's the case, Ivy? Why have you been hiding it all these years? Teresa? This shouldn't be a surprise, then. You're dreaming of me because I'm the woman you love. I'm the woman you want to marry. You belong to us, Ethan. You're a crane. You belong to us, Ethan. You're a crane. You belong to us, Ethan. You're a crane. Ethan, don't let them keep us apart. You're a crane. Ethan. 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 Mary Gwen. Mary Gwen. Mary Gwen. Mary Gwen. You must marry Gwen. Mary Gwen. Marry me. Marry me. No, I can't. I can't. Mary Gwen. You must marry Gwen. Marry Gwen. Marry me. Oh, I, I can't do it. I can't. I can't. Listen, what can't you do? When you go back up to Chad, I told him that, that he had to tell the girl that he's crazy about that he loves her. <sighs> Would you please stop trying to play matchmaker, okay? Wait, I'm just so happy, and I want you to be happy, too. Well, I would be deliriously happy if you would just mind your own business. What are you so amused about? Ethan came to my room tonight. What? Okay, okay, why? What happened? Well, he said he just came over to talk me out of loving him, but, but that is not the real reason. No? Okay, and what was the real reason? The truth is, he had to see me tonight because his love for me, it's really getting to him. And he's beginning to realize that he can't live without me. I can't. Ethan. No, I... I... Ethan, wake up! What? You're having a nightmare. It's a nightmare? Ethan, what was it? What what can't you do? Gwen. Oh God. I love you so much. Papers. I have no idea what you're talking about. This is me you're talking to, Ivy. Don't make trouble where there is none, Julian. Especially with Ethan's wedding this close. Yes. I wouldn't want to make things difficult for my son. Not now when he's siding with me against Alistair. Yes. <laughs> right, I think you should keep Ethan as an ally. Hmm. You need all the friends you can get. Hello. Oh, you do have those papers in a very safe place, don't you? Yes. They're in a safe place. They're locked in the attaché case. Nobody will ever know that Ethan is Sam Bennett's son. 
If Julian were to find that attache case, everything would be lost. Suzanne was right. There are papers. You should probably stay off his feet for a couple of days. Don't worry, if you will. Chief Bennett. It's me, Sam. What do you got, Luis? Shooter. We got him cornered in the warehouse behind Front Street. Stay put. I'll get you back up. Where do you think you're going? I can't let Luis get killed because of me. No, Sheridan, don't. Oh, Sheridan, you'll get killed. 